not good people he cut a chunk of my eyelid it was because and you guys will not believe this god will deal with you <laughs> you know shoot so between minorities, what the fuck is your issue, girl? Well, because I didn't volunteer. I guess I was just his only option. I really wanna stay. I really wanna go. But I really need to know. Can we get it together? Can we get it together? My island. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Anyways, guys, welcome. Or welcome back to my channel. Anyways, I'm getting ready for bed. I don't know what this thing is, but it's clean. I swear this shirt is clean. I just washed my hair. I washed this, everything, everything. Anyways, yeah, we're getting ready for bed. And I was like, oh, this would be a good time to just tell a story. We're on our way to 1K subscriber. So I'm like, maybe like you guys should get to know me, you know? I should start telling my story so you guys know why I am the way that I am. Anyways, let's get into it. So it all started. I'm done. I almost died. Anyways, so let's get into the story. So I was like, how do you say um, jardin in um, English? Kindergarten. That's kindergarten? So what's matinee? I don't know. Five to six years old, basically. And what had happened was, I think we were doing like arts and craft. Yeah, we were like cutting up things in class. And okay, I guess I should like paint a picture. This kid, it was this white little boy. We were actually friends or like, well, so I thought. Because we used to actually hang out and like play on the playground. And like during um, nap time, he would always bring the mat close to me and stuff. And we would like, you know, take our naps next to each other. Mm -mm. Well, I'm thinking this little white boy is my friend. You put your trust in a nigga, stupid hoe, how you figure? Basically, because I mean like... We play together. We take nap time together. Wait, what? You sound like you're drowning in the water. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, guys, but yeah, basically like... I'm thinking this guy is my friend. Anyways, this one day, we're doing arts and craft, whatever, whatever. So we have the scissors, we have the glue, we have glitter, all that stuff on the table. I don't remember much, to be honest, but what I do remember is that like, yeah, we're like doing whatever. And then he just turns to me and he's just like walking up to me with these pairs of scissors. Like, you're just approaching me like this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, is you coming? I can't play my tapes without the key. Like, just approaching me. And I'm just like, ha. Ah. At the time, I was a very, like, calm, quiet little girl. Like, very shy. Yeah, like I said, like, this is, like, kindergarten. Like, I'm, like, maybe, like, or whatever. I'm, like, five or six years old. Like, and at the time, I was super, like, timid, shy. Like, I wasn't outspoken. So, he's coming at me with scissors. And I'm also, like, in a corner. Like, I was backed up against the wall. I don't know, I didn't duck, I didn't like dodge it or nothing. I honestly just stood there, backed up, and <sniffs> eyelid one. Just like, here. A chunk of my eyelid, gone. But I don't really remember like anything that happened after my eyelid being chopped. I just remember him approaching me with a pair of scissors. And then yeah, that was basically it. After that, my mom's claim school didn't say anything. The teachers didn't say anything. I just showed up home with like a missing chunk of my eyelid. I mean, my mom was obviously not happy. So she showed up to the school the next day. I can only imagine the scene she probably caused out there. Maybe it's for the best that I don't remember. But yeah, showed up to the school. And then I guess they contacted the little boy's parents. So they showed up. They like had a meeting and I guess when they asked the little boy why he cut a chunk of my eyelid I wanna, I wanna know that. Okay. I really want to know that Because, and you guys will not believe this He wanted to see if black people had the same color blood as Caucasian people <laughs> So basically he just wanted to see if white people had the same color blood as black people 
Um, we do. They do. We, we, everyone. Black, white, orange. You have, it's all blood, it red. Same consistency, it's all, it's the same thing. Obviously, like, that didn't justify anything. <laughs> And my thing now, thinking back on it, is like, where did you get this ideology? Like, why wouldn't I have the same blood? Like, who told you, like, you know, we know. We know your Mima or your Peepa must have said something. And you wanted to test it out. Crazy. Protect your kids. My mom was still furious. We were, everyone was shocked. And... Obviously, this type of behavior is taught. Yeah, that was basically it. I don't know why he thought that. Def his parents definitely told them something. I mean, the parents apologized. He apologized. <laughs> We're like, what? Why did you have to do that to me? That's so, now what am I doing? And you could have did it. See, can I get it wrong? I she never I apologized. Did and I mean, like, there was another... I don't think there was any other black people in the class. I went to like an all white Catholic school basically. I guess there wasn't any black people because I didn't volunteer. I guess I was just his only option. There was no one else he could cut to see. <laughs> I was the only one that he could choose to be his victim. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, after that, changed school, went to another all white Catholic school. Oh shit, here we go again. That wasn't any better. At the beginning, the girls were not nice. I say all white, but you, French Catholic school, but you, you know, you know what I mean. Those girls, vicious. <laughs> the things they've said to me, <laughs> you must say, see that. Um, the confessional. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will oh, never forget <laughs> when you said my skin was like caca and mud. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, I got bullied in second grade. And <laughs> <laughs> just starts to like once I don't know, seriously, I got bullied. Not this is your story time. This yeah, let me just okay. I is, got bullied in second grade what? by an Asian girl. <laughs> <laughs> and as a two minorities, what the fuck is your issue, girl? Well, I'm trying to help you, trying to stand strong by another sister. But no, you wanted to go against and work for the whites and come attack me. Talking about my skin look like caca, talking about this. And yeah. I was wearing my subtle pants. I was wearing my, um, what's it called in English? Uh, overalls. My overalls. Yeah. And after you, I've never worn overalls since. <laughs> <laughs> so you really created some damage there. But um, you, oh! <laughs> but and oh no, and now I'm coming for your people, the people that were yeah. in Harvard. You because they were my malicious. <laughs> you, guys, you guys need to do time. And on top of that, like you're bullying people in your group, and you're bullying people in my grade too. Why are you even bullying me? Yeah, for really like, she's, she's two people. years and nine months younger than me. But yeah. we just went to the same school, and it's like, why are you bullying people? Like two great two words? Yeah. Yeah. But like why are you bullying like, her your And me? Friends. Like what is your problem? And you know what's crazy? Like after that, then they became my friends. And I know some of them are subscribed to this channel and you know who you are. Obviously you we're good we now. Because you were doing like Galded Lotus Bis, okay? Or so like <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's all love now, and we're here yeah, now. Of course, of course. But like you but, were wrong for that, you were very wrong. Yeah, the caca skin, and very the, unnecessary comment. Yeah. The mud looking skin, very unnecessary comment. Oh, and also like African booty scratcher. You guys weren't even creative to just. Oh, uh, you guys were so annoying with it. Can't see when the dwarf. Just that, like. Such a like, stupid, weird, petty, stereotypical. Why is she calling me? And I don't want to play with you because you look you know dirty, very unnecessary. The stuff you make fun of is stuff that's gonna come back for your kids. So we'll go your kids around, probably gonna get bullied. Back on you. <laughs> <laughs> Paying for your sins. I don't. <laughs> you need to go. Yeah. Today and baby. Yeah, we're done. But yeah, those schools like it's like they like train kids to be racist and but I'm well 
Avi. And the teachers did absolutely nada. If anything, they came for you, the victim. Like, what? Yeah. It's just what's crazy. It y avait aucun conséquence. Like, you guys got to bully people and, like, nothing happened to you guys. Like, you guys never got in trouble for that. Nothing. Because the teachers also just didn't care. Like, the teachers were also, like, bullies as well. Insane. Like, oh my god. Crazy. Crazy. But, like, I'm not shocked. Very on par for you people. Honestly, the teachers <laughs> were actually miserable and bitter themselves. Because yeah, I have a teacher. She, she was a bully or something. She, every <laughs> time I walk by her class, she was making someone cry. <laughs> but, but no. Yeah. <laughs> She made you yeah. like, <laughs> She almost made me cry. I, I was so scared. scared. I used to be so scared. Like the fact that you're a teacher, and, we're, and we, I've never had her as a teacher. Me neither. And I but our class had to go to her class yeah. to do like those like. Yeah. Well, I would always be like, no, no. The class was crazy. The class. Oh crazy. my god, no. She was actually a villain, and no. Hi, Ari. Oh, you look so. I know cute. she felt that too much power. Kipu, hi, Kipu. Uh, but anyways yeah those teachers life. were absolutely vicious like yeah. not good people no. you guys weren't good people excuse me yeah they're actually terrible and um god will deal with you <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting in the portly gates <laughs> just kidding I'm done. oh yeah my Oops. god no you're done <laughs> wait just... i think what, they follow you you guys are friends now yeah they says they're they more follow friends. me on and you guys, they follow me on Instagram too. Um, it was I ain't forget, but I forget, but I ain't forget. Yeah, we'll never forget. Obviously. Obviously, because you did cause us trauma. <laughs> <laughs> but we obviously don't hold any grudges to you guys. Yeah, obviously we know Unless that Unless you're hot. still out there doing your nonsense, then I will have to track you down. And come I don't you. know, they ain't. Now they got a bunch of colorful friends and stuff. But... At the same time, I don't see them raising their voices for what matters. Oh, real quiet. Mm. Genocide happening, still going to McDonald's, still going to Starbucks. So honestly, <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I can't really change. But anyways, but whatever. Thank you, Baby Mac, for um, <laughs> that appearance. <laughs> um, yeah, my dad had to show up to the school basically. As he showed up. He was like, nobody wants to play with her. They keep picking on her, bullying her, da 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 You guys don't understand. The teachers, the principals, and the students at French all-white Catholic schools. Thinking back, I'm like, it is actually kind of cruel. Like, be, like, these things actually, like, hurt. But they affect kids long term. I was lucky. I had a pretty strong support system. Like, I feel like if it wasn't for my dad, like, constantly, like, you know, helping with le moral, calling me beautiful, showing me, like, that my skin is beautiful. Like, I don't know. I actually don't know. Cause it's like these words cut deep like the other kids like you know and then on top of that they're like actively like making your life harder like they're insulting you they're like not including you the teacher's not defending you so it's like they're stereotyping you like they're just everyone at the school is just treating you different and you you're confused you're like what what did i do and then as you come to find out, it's just because you're a certain shape. Like, is that not like wild? Crazy. And mans are like seven. Like, I'm a child. These are kids. But yeah, everyone's just so cruel. Teacher, kids, principal, no one gives a fuck if. So yeah, it does affect the kid if they don't have a solid support system. It's hard and like, it's a shame. Like this happens to kids that age, seven, whatever. And they grow up self-hating themselves, they reach our age 20 23 26 30 still hating themselves like and like i i don't want to say like i can't blame them because i know like it's rough they be saying some hurtful things you start internalizing certain things and like but it's like brother come on you gotta heal this is what they want this is what the white man wants we need to get Ooh, just free them free free the self-hating black people because like i said you are so much more powerful loving yourself than you are hating yourself kids you know 
like you're so young so innocent and like you don't see any difference like or like you don't even take in that like it's that deep and you have people like discriminating against you on the playground like it's actually crazy and like as a kid you do want to fit in like you like actually like not even like fit in but at least be included like you know so it's like now you've got the girl doing the most like doing the most trying to be included like bleaching the skin maybe if i'm a little lighter the girls are gonna like me but obviously like it's crazy like why am i gonna damage my skin just to kiki with people i would even want to make fun of you for something like that like you know crazy crazy so if you're a girl that little girl even an adult too because there's a lot of women still bleaching their skin till this day because they, they think they'll be included they'll feel prettier there'll be more opportunities shit there might be just because of the way society is the opportunities you're not prettier because you're lighter okay but um it's not worth it like it's not worth damaging your body for other people or for validation or to feel included or you know it's really not worth it yeah not worth it don't do it also watch in a few years the people dissing you like i said they're gonna want to befriend you they're gonna be all up oh my god i love your skin oh my god i love your complexion oh my god you're so beautiful i know that but why were you shitting on me before then weird behavior weird weird behavior racism is so weird to me because like why 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 does it bother you so much that like my skin is a certain shade and then colorism too and then it gets so deep that like the person hates themselves so much that they actually start harming themselves that's what they want you to do they want you to harm yourself they don't care about your well-being so you know love yourself you're a lot more powerful when you're loving yourself versus hating yourself that's a period we love the skin now we do we love her if you look like me i love you a few shades darker i love you a hundred times darker i love you okay i also like the light skins too i love everybody but if you look like me I do, I do, I do. Okay, back to the video. So anyways, there was like one other black girl and I think one black boy. So we were three black people in the class, yeah. And I don't know, this white teacher, the all white te French Canadian teachers, they're all a little weird, but anyways, a little racist too, if you ask me. The teacher was like, oh, okay, like, yeah, like, I understand, whatever, da, 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 da. And anyways, in the middle of the class, she just goes, like, who wants to volunteer to be her friend? Quiet. It's quiet. Ain't no back talk. Crickets. It's crickets. And all of a sudden, a hand goes up. And who would have guessed it was the only other black girl? Shout out to her. Anyways, so yeah, that was that's basically how I it kind of clicked in my head that like um you get treated differently because of like your race. Another point I wanted to add, I think it's crazy like the teachers too like like my dad came to the school said like I'm being bullied like people are making these comments about my skin like I'm literally not even doing anything like I'm still at this time like super to myself i'm i don't really talk i was new and like no one wanted to play with me because of my skin color weird very weird behavior but very on par for them anyways and it's like my dad's telling the teacher this and she's just like okay like you know craig craig got fired yesterday what the fuck that gotta do with me let me explain let me just who wants to be her friend like you're not gonna address the fact that like these kids are making these comments like we're not like you know like the, and that's the thing like i feel like teachers also enable this behavior they don't really care because they also have this certain idea and like oof, i'm just these schools are just brutal if you're a parent let's just rethink that french catholic school i heard even the french public schools are also really bad let's just rethink this thing 
Obviously anything French, les Français did not good people. Europeans, colonizers. Be serious, guys. Let's be serious for a moment. Uh, oh my God. And they weren't even like French, French to like French Canadian. The Quebecois is not even teaching us proper Francais. And just causing kids of color trauma. Just trauma. <laughs> but yeah. That's basically it. Um, oh, I'm almost done my skincare. Hold on. We have the, this mucus thing. So yeah, after those two situations, I think that like clicked in my head. That like, mm. mm hmm Oh, I'm a black lady. That is a mess, y'all. Woof. Also, I guess I'm black, and they do not like black ladies down there. Crap, y'all. No, but literally, I was like, oh, damn, my parents did not tell me this. Like, I mean, like, after those situations, my mom was always in my face, like, you know, like, it's not gonna be easy for you. Like, you know, you have to toughen up. But, like, god damn, I had to get my eyelid cut for what? And this woman, she just airing out my business. Who wants to play with her? Who wants to be her friend? Like, girl. And now you have the whole class quiet. I'm standing there like, the class is looking at me like. BFF, be fucking for real. For real. The black girl was just like, shit. <laughs> Let me just, this is just not looking good. <laughs> but you know, shout out to her for real. Cause community, unity, power to the people. But yeah, this was basically it. A short little story time. My first racist encounters. And obviously there was a lot more, I was only. That first one where you cut my eyelid, I was probably five, six. And then when the teacher like had to like basically ask that class who wants to volunteer to be my friend, I was like seven. That was grade one. And then back to back, I'm like, damn. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I grew to love the skin. Like when I say like we grew to love the skin, like I really mean we grew tremendously. Like your girl is unstoppable. Like, when people make comments about, like, my skin, like, it just, like, like, I, there's nothing anyone can say. If you grow up black, shit, if you grow up dark skin, when you get over that self-hatred phase, when you realize people are projecting, when you just realize people are just haters, and you make it out of that, like, oh, I wish I was lighter, or like, this, that, like, if my curls were looser, if this, like, once you learn to accept and truly love yourself, unstoppable. There's nothing anyone can say. Absolutely nada. Unfazed. Like, even when, you know, like, People that look like me try to make comp, and those are the ones where like I can't even take you seriously because you look like me, and you're talking about oh, I don't like that the skin or whatever. It's giving self hatred, babes. So yeah, I just pray anyone that looks like me, darker than me, similar experience as me, like there's light at the end of the tunnel. You just need to make it. I promise. You are 10 times more powerful at loving yourself than you are hating yourself. And it's facts. Like, a girl's been unstoppable since, like, grade 7. <laughs> and that's it. That's why we gotta take care of it. Oh, now I need, like, something on my lip. Lip gloss. Hold on, guys. Hey, guys. Ah! <laughs> you came Yeah, I'm gonna... Get out of here. I've hey. never had any. Really? Never? No, no, no. Damn, good for you. Yeah. But honestly, I think... I don't know which one's worse. Obviously, yeah, getting your eyelid cut is not good. But I feel like having your parent come to your school and be like, you don't have friends, and then your teacher being like... And it's like, the fact that like I had to stand up. Like, I was standing in front of the class like this. And she was like, who wants to be your friend? Like, she was like... <laughs> and then after, like... 
<laughs> no, 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 quarter, quarter, million here, no, quarter, quarter, the more you pay for it, the more sales tax you save. Quarter, quarter, I have 400, I don't quarter, I have 400, I don't quarter, big, 25. Go on once, go on twice, and black girl over there, that you got yourself a new friend. I was like, but yeah, that's literally how we became friends. Already the most challenging auction I have ever been a part of. Do I hear a higher bid from that James Bond villain over there? <laughs> no, she felt nah, literally, I'm telling you, this is why these teachers be low key racist. Cause she, I'm like, you didn't have to move like that. It was very unnecessary for you to do that. Because now I just remember that, and like, anyways, yeah, they're both really bad, I guess, but. It's part of character development, apparently. God gives his toughest battles to his song as a soldier. I don't know why a six-year-old, seven-year-old was on the battlefield already. It is what it is. I was on the battlefield very young. Very, very young. And yeah. Anyways, that's it for tonight. My skin feels good. And if you're that little boy who cut my eyelid and you're watching this video right now, <laughs> like what? what I don't even know what to say to you and if you're that teacher that like had to embarrass me <laughs> anyways yeah more story time to come the girls no one no. uh French Catholic school, no. if you're a parent and you have a child of color, I would reconsider, okay? Because the teachers, they're just bigger bullies. But yeah, shout out to the real ones. And I'll see you guys in the next story time. So you guys can get to know me a little more. See, see how I became the person that I am. Today, I don't on this room. We ain't gonna sleep and shit. If I catch you now, love you guys. Subscribe. Please can do what you wanna. Dieted for tonight. Girl, you can do what you wanna. Live how you wanna. Spin what you wanna. Be who you wanna be. We all stunner. I just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? Feel my face Send an action Steve, they know who I am Niggas be past tense